Welcome to Avalon. I thought I'd do my energy update here. I haven't been recording or doing any things um, since I've been back from Egypt. I've been really quiet because that's what this video is all about. It's about that time of just stepping back, letting go and being all about you. And um, to hold the capacity of producing, creating, being on all the time, that's not how we're supposed to be. It's all about death, rebirth and resurrection. And that is a cycle. So when we go through the death, we have to kind of slow down a little bit, maybe almost to an absolute still. And then we fire up again, just like this well. This well is the um, sacred well of Avalon, uh, the chalice well. And, you know, it is, it, it is um, reproduces just on its own, keeps going because it's divine and it's infinite and that's essentially what we should be like but we're not like that because this well goes through death rebirth and transformation momentarily just just keeps running but we get stuck we resist we stop we don't make it about us and coming to Avalon was me making it about me and uh this video as well is also about how many of us are feeling some stagnancy or we think it's stagnancy it's all about union basically we've got to the end of the path now we can't move any further down the path because there is no path left there's a pathway that will be shown to it or, or rather a timeline flip to a brand new time where we will show up and be something completely different to what we are now but we're still trying to run up and run at that path and make it carry on and it's not there because the reason it stops is it's now time for union it's now time to bring your divine masculine in and your divine feminine not to bring your divine feminine in to replace the masculine because that's what a lot of us women do we're always being told we're in our masculine energy too much too much of a doer you know i know i am so what we do is we fling ourselves into the divine feminine thinking that that's all there there is but but your your he and your she have to come together she has to be brought in in balance with him so we we don't want to replace him we've got to bring that balance in so that's kind of what we're sorting through right now and as we come into union we start to let go of everything out there it's less important to make the wheel turn and grind and do do everything like we were doing before brand new things are meant for you brand new things are now going to be shown to you brand new ways of showing up in the world how you are going to express your blueprint your tablet of light you know how how that's going to be seen it's going to be done through joy and balance and grace and flow just like the well water bringing in a lot of water with this with this video water we have to flow we we I mean I've come here now and I've been holding on to the Nile waters which I brought from Egypt and I took the well water took it to Egypt poured it into the Nile then I brought the Nile um did a ceremony there brought the Nile water poured it into the well only on day six of me being here five or whatever because I was saving the water for a special time and I woke up this morning with an absolute thumping migraine since yesterday actually and the message was stop holding on just put the water in the well already. Let it flow. You know, what are you waiting for? You know what I mean? When is the special time? When is there more a more perfect time than now? As Yeshua always says, if not now, when? I'm going to say that again. Because he's here. He's here. Mary Magdalene has been walking with me. Because I've been going through such meltdowns. If not now, when? So that's the union. If not now, when? You know, when are you going to start to um, put down what you're doing? Um, like, let go of what you know you don't want. Now, listen, I know it's really, really hard because there's so many of us that know exactly where we don't want to be, know what we don't want to do anymore. Um, and we're at that point where, OK, ticked all the boxes there, but we don't know where we want to go. And that answer isn't going to come. And that's where the resistance come, comes in, because we try and get the answers. The answers isn't the answer is not going to come. So because, first of all, we just need to be in the absolute sweet spot of just receiving 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 this is what this is all about for me and it's been so hard and i'm just going to share with you from my side i love doing videos and i love recording videos every time i've sat down to record my laptop's flat there is no wi-fi here um you know i'm going to have to post this video later on there's no connectivity there's no quiet enough to do anything then i forgot my camera stand and 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 all the things and i it doesn't matter where i've gone or what i've done i just i have just been basically paused I'm not going to be creating in the way I was creating before it doesn't mean that I'm not going to be creating of course I am but it's going to be different and I have to like uh put the mission down 
because I'm like, it's the mission. We've got to get the work out there. And that is what Mary Magdalene has said so loudly since I've been here. Let go of the mission. We think that we're all being spiritual and like in alignment because we're like, yeah, we've got to carry on and, you know, complete, 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 which we will be doing anyway. But we have to do it in love and grace. And I think that the, the mission will always be there, but it's to be explored. It's to be um, kind of, you know, um, experienced through joy, love and grace. And I think prior to this, we weren't doing it like that because it wasn't available to us. But now it's available to us. That union is now upon us. The deep work that we did in Egypt was about union. The big pause that we've got in our lives right now is about union. The divine masculine is now... Um, coming into balance because the divine feminine is um, and next year I'm bringing my groups to um, Avalon and I am bringing a man, man man and woman it's very important to me men and women need we need more men to come and be here and allow their goddess self to come online there's nothing weak about that do you know what I mean? But that's what needs to happen. But what's going to happen is if us women, who are always the ones that go first, if we allow that union to come online within us, they will be the ones that they, we look at. Or we will be the ones that they look at. We will be their mirror. And they will just automatically, effortlessly, organically just come into alignment with that. And then we'll be looking at them because they'll be in alignment and so on and so forth. That's where the infinity comes, right? So we have to, I suppose, become the mirror for the man, physical man. And just with that, they will be able to follow in suit. Because remember, Yeshua was able to ascend through the space holding of Mary Magdalene. And that's kind of like, we bring that all the way down to the earth now. What does that mean for us? You know, we, we need to love and adore ourselves and put ourselves as priority as first. That's the divine feminine. And then the divine masculine will be able to just slot in perfectly just like the physical pisces here okay that is all about when three when well well let's go there's one becomes two becomes three okay and then three becomes two becomes one that is that is what that's all about it's about death rebirth and resurrection and transformation so be like the well. Can you hear? It's the regeneration of the well. So that's my energy share. I will be doing a lot more videos in the future, but I'm really honoring my space of just being, and it's been hard because I give more than I receive. So right now I'm receiving. And if I can do it, because my God, do I love to resist? <laughs> Look, God loves a trier, okay? He loves a trier and he loves me because I resist all the time and this pilgrimage that I've been on on my own has been the hardest the hardest thing because I've been on my own and I haven't been able to run away and I've had to just sit and receive and that's been really 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 powerful hence why I have a massive migraine today um but yeah think about those words let them fall and I will share probably when I come out of this portal anyway love you peace from me and sacred Avalon Maybe I'll see you. maybe I'll see you here next year because I'll be opening ceremony here. Maybe I'll see you here next year. So yeah, August, Lionsgate, the tour. Just putting that in there. Oh, and just before I sign off, and I'm gonna do a video on this, I've now understood in Marie's world the significance of Avalon and Egypt. All pictures, very famous pictures, has a picture of the well and the tour in the distance, right? Just behind it. In Egypt, all pictures, picture of the Sphinx and the Great Pyramid just behind it. The tour is the pyramid, their receivers and transmitters and portals. And we opened a massive cauldron when I was in, on the tour at the Sphinx in Egypt just recently, which represents the well. So that, that's a good place to start, is it not? To understanding the connection between Avalon and Egypt. So anyway, peace. <laughs>